Hi, my name is Melody Landry and I am an INFJ. So um, I thought I would share my story. Um, I, over the past year, have gotten extremely interested in MBTI and personality types and um, I have been watching tons of videos on YouTube about MBTI related topics and um, different MBTI personalities and I've pretty much become quite a nerd on this subject and have just become really interested in it so um, I really love watching YouTube videos um, regarding MBTI so I thought that I would make one since I enjoy them so much and love hearing about other types I thought um, that I would just go ahead and make a video regarding me and my type so, um, sorry, this video is really kind of random. I kind of spontaneously decided to do this, so I might be rambling quite a bit, and for that I apologize um, beforehand. But, um, so basically how I got started um, and interested in MBTI was my ex-boyfriend, who, who is an ENTP, um, took this test and one night I was over at his house and um, we were just talking and I think somehow we got on the subject of personality types and stuff like that and he was like oh I just took this test and um, it was really interesting and I was like oh okay well let's look at what your results got and so we were looking at his and reading about the ENTP description which um, was very true for him. He is very much an ENTP and so I was reading it and I was like wow this is like really accurate for you like this is scary accurate and um, previous to this I have really hated um, personality tests. I've never felt that they were accurate and I never really liked them or felt um, that they really described me and so um, we were reading his description and then at the bottom of the page it said um, good, you know, relationship um, matches for MB ENTP personality type. And so we were just kind of like joking around. We're like, ooh, who's your match? And so um, it had the INFJ description and so we were just like reading it through and I start reading it and I'm like, this is, it started to freak me out. I was like, this is literally describing me like a book, like detail. I mean, I had never read a personality test that so accurately described me. And so I started reading through it and we both started kind of laughing. We're like, this sounds like me. And so I, at that point, became extremely um, intrigued. And I was like, what is this test? And um, so I went ahead and just took test to see what I would get. I was pretty sure at that point I was an INFJ because when I read the description I was just kind of taken aback how accurate it was um, for me. And so I took the test and scored INFJ. And so for a couple of months I started to read all about personality types and I got like all my friends to take it. I was like, you guys have got to take this test. It's it's really cool. And um. My best friend, who's actually an ENFP, I got her to take the test, and then she got really into it, and we would just um, talk about it all the time. It was just, like, so nerdy. Um, and so then I decided to take the test a second time, just to kind of see what I would get, um, and I got INFJ, and then I took the, a different test for a third time, also scored INFJ, and so I was pretty, at that point, solidified that I was an INFJ. Um... I know some people get confused with INFJ and INFP, and for me what really came down to differentiating between the two was the um, tertiary functions, um, FI versus FE, and um, TE versus TI, and I couldn't really relate with FI and TE, so that again kind of confirmed my thoughts um, of being an INFJ. So. Um, yeah, so a little bit about me growing up. Um, I, I know this might sound cliche to say, but I always felt um, fairly different um, and didn't really know why I felt different. I always felt like I thought differently. I um, even, I don't even really know how to explain it, but um, intuition's always been 
a very prominent thing in my life. It's definitely steered my decisions, why I do things. Intuition is um, very prominent for me. And so, like, I don't really, I, I make most of my decisions based on intuition. And that was always hard growing up because I couldn't really um, explain to people why I thought something or um, why I was doing something or why I felt something was true or right. And it was really intuition. And it would freak me out at times because um, I would know something without knowing why I knew it. And I would try to explain to people, but I couldn't. And that would frustrate me. And um, just like things of like, I don't think we should go here. I don't think we should do this. I feel like this is going to happen. And I didn't know why I felt this way. And then it would happen. And I'd be like, that was weird. And my friends would be like, how did you know that? And I would just be like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, just this this weird intuition coming to play. So that's really um, always been really strong in my life. Um, another area that's been strong for me is... Um, Effie has always been very prominent for me. Um, I've learned to manage my Effie a little bit better as I've gotten older, but um, growing up I was always extremely sensitive to the feelings of other people. I'd walk into the room and if there was someone depressed, I would feel it. If someone was happy, I would feel it. Um, I was always able to really empathize with people and um, on a level that was um, very intense, and sometimes it would overwhelm me, um, being able to feel what they're feeling, and it would kind of exhaust me, um, an example of that would be, I would be in school, and I'd be sitting there, and I'd feel that this person was depressed, or this person was, you know, thinking about suicide, or this person, and I would feel that, that they felt that way, and I would become overwhelmed by it and come home and when I was like 13 you know I was young I would cry because I was like you know this person's sad and this person's happy and then I, it would just be it would really overwhelm me and um I would take on other people's burdens that weren't my own um so I really had to learn how to manage that um another thing that rings true for me regarding MBTI is um I don't mean in like a, a a bragging or arrogant sense, but I've always been told that I'm extremely wise from um, friends and family. I always have people coming to me for advice, and um, I meet people that I barely know, and they end up telling me extremely personal things about themselves, and um, I don't really know what to do with it, and I usually, I mean, I end up giving them advice. Um, and people are always, you know, telling me, I've never told anyone this, but I feel like I can tell you. And so um, I've always been someone who's giving advice and giving wisdom and feel really strong in that area. Um, I have a lot of really great friends. Um, I'm kind of selective with people. I am not just friends with anyone. I'm kind of selective with who I um, get close with and who I let in. Um, for me, um, quality and less friends is much more valuable to me than quantity of friends. I really like having, um, close friends with, like, deep intimacy, and that's really important to me in my relationships. Um, regarding re romantic relationships, I am extremely selective with that too. I'm so picky and sometimes it kind of, I kind of wish that I wasn't that way because I don't like people easily. I'm not interested in people easily. Um, it takes me a lot to find myself attracted to someone or to find someone interesting and it doesn't happen often. Um, but when it does happen, it's very strong and my feelings are pretty intense. So, um... That's kind of how I am regarding relationships. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I've always been kind of a daydreamer. I'm always, I have a very vivid imagination, a colorful imagination. Um, I have to be careful with daydreaming because I could literally sit 
somewhere for hours and daydream. And sometimes it's hard for me to snap out of it and kind of um, come back to reality in a sense. And so um, I love to daydream. Um, let's see, what else? I'm looking, I have a sheet here of things um, written down. So if you see me kind of looking, it's because I jotted down some notes. Um, yeah, but other than that, my my interests include, um, I love creative things. I love anything that um, allows someone, um, art forms of expression, I really enjoy. I really enjoy art. I don't draw, but I appreciate art, and I love to go to, like, museums and see art or, you know, watch or view my friend's art that I really like. Um, I grew up dancing my whole life. I did ballet my from 7 to 18, and I did jazz and hip-hop. Um, was on a dance team in high school for a year. Um, currently, I'm a media communication student. Um, I sing, and I'm currently trying to teach myself piano, and I've also been getting into, like, video stuff, video editing, and I also love photography. And I love, I've recently been getting into acting. Um, I'm doing my first like short film project and that I'm acting in. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for this video. I'm sorry, it was a bit long and I kind of rambled, but um, yeah, I'd love to do more um, videos regarding MBTI. Um, I'll probably do some others um, regarding some specific topics. Um, so if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about, um, if you just comment and yeah. So thanks you got, thank you guys for watching and um, see you soon. Bye-bye.